Hello and welcome back to episode 10 of Timberborn. So we have played on a tiny little bit, gone through about a 30 day drought I suppose. Um, but we have managed to get these in place so we can stop the flow of water from going there and then divert it through here and then we can actually close these and maybe, just maybe build up some water here. Pretty sure whenever you build anything in Timberborn there are unintended consequences. So maybe water will start flowing over here or something like that, we'll see. Um, we will get there. Food is a slow but big concern. We are going down slowly but surely. Um, we do kind of need this field running at all times if possible, which doesn't happen when there's bad water or when the water runs out here. So this has kind of become a semi-priority or a little priority. Uh, once we get this flattened, then yeah, this is all going to become farmland. And that should hopefully do our farming needs for a fair while, but we'll see. Uh, all right. You can go up to 2.5 now, and you can go up to 0.5. Still working on this, and still working on flattening it. Probably don't need to flatten it, but... Started so we finish. Um, I am slowly dynamiting my way down here one block at a time. So then we will have a tiny bit more in this pool. It is a tiny bit, but every block of water counts. This pool, which we used for siphoning off bad tides, piece of shit, really. It lasts a few days after the bad tide ends, and that's it. So what I have done is created another bad water barrel. Um, so yeah, we're storing up a fair amount. Right, let's see how this water's working. If it's working. So this gate's up full, should hit here and then come down here or come down here and hit here at the same time. Does, right, we probably need this up to at least level one. Right, right, let's just put it up to three and then the water flows. Uh, right, let's unpause these two pumps. We don't really need this one so much. If the next cycle to come is a drought, we'll fill this pool. If it's not, then yeah, we'll hold off the bad tide. Because the bad tide is more important. We don't need these running. I think we can store just over 7,000 water. So yeah, we have plenty. Um, we might as well detonate those just to fill up the water a bit more. How are we looking? Yep, we're almost flowing over and we still got two left there. Yep, we're golden. Yeah, without the water flowing, um, there's very little power in the system. So we kind of need these wheels running. And now let's try and put this gate up 2.5. See what happens. See how it gets backed up. It's not going to come over here. These walls are too high. Oh, we have a bad tide coming. That's good. Okay, so we won't be using this for water storage at all, but let's just see how it works. So we're going to hit the 2.5. And then it will start flowing over. Is it having any effect here? Probably not. Point four. Two point five. Should come over here any minute now. It's not pouring out anywhere else. Yep, there you go. It's coming back over there. <coughs> Uh, 
Um, one thing I noticed when I was fiddling around with the gates up here, I think I lowered them because these were built first. I lowered them too quickly and then the water just rushed and when it rushed through, the bad water flooded over here. Uh, got two or three of my beavers injured who have now died off, thankfully. And it actually splashed over into here, so our pure water source was contaminated by about 20%. Uh, so, yeah. Right, let's get you destroyed. And then I think the final one of here. We have to do a 133 to get this uh, blown up or down. It's fiddly, but we'll get there. So if I do a one there, that's going to leave. So a three and then a three. So these are going to be twos then threes. Yeah, food, big problem. We really do need to be focusing on this, maybe, and not so much the uh, water over here. Oh, well, well, this can go as well. We don't need this anymore. And then we can put some twos out. We have to do it row by row, otherwise we'll have to dick about with... Uh, Yeah, look at that. I suppose that will store a fair bit of water if needed. Right. When it goes to 0.5, we're going to place this up so we max it out. 0.5 days, that is. There you go. And this should slowly fill to the top. And then we need a three here. And that will be the last one I actually dick about with for now. <coughs> and we do need to fiddle around with gates quite soon as well. Namely this one over here. There you go, we've got some floodage going on. Right, that goes to one. Goes to zero, and that's that sorted. Flooding will subside very quickly. And I suppose we just want this flowing so we can get the bad tide going. Ooh, shit. And then maybe we can store more bad tide up here, but you're going to have the fresh water pushing through. So I don't know how well that'll work. Right, this has gone to zero, yes. I have a feeling there's going to be some flooding here as it rushes through. And bollocks, we got some uh, water in our pool. I suppose the other thing is it's slightly quicker than filling up this area first, then coming down here. We still have half our bad tide left, so we're not exactly using it. Here it comes. Alright, by tomorrow we should be able to pump. And we need this down to zero. Let's wait till the daylight comes so we have the uh, most contaminated water possible or the purest water possible. Purest bad water. There we go. 88% contamination, not too bad. Yeah, this pool shit. I don't know. Maybe we have a tiered system and just have uh, pumps going down and down and down. Um, mm, we'll see. First things first, I do really want to get this. 
this leveled so we can build our farmland. Right, let's make this level priority. Yeah, look, half our farmland's trashed. So we're on 1.2k now, but we're going to go down. Yeesh. Oh, bad tides up, 1.4k, so 200 a day bad water we're making. And we probably are fully powered when everything comes back online tomorrow. I was thinking about building a gravity battery over here, but most of it's going to be moved away. Yeah, we meet our power needs. Most of it's going to be moved away, so yeah, what's the point? Maybe I could squeeze in another large windmill. I can. Yeah, when I build something like this, it's almost instantaneous. It's just the dynamite that's slaying us down. Um... I would say build another dynamite factory, but after we've done this little patch here, which shouldn't be too long, we're going to focus on our gravity batteries and then industry. So yeah, dynamite's not going to be so important. Maybe over here a little, but you get to that when we get to that. I suppose we have down here as well. Low priority though. We did have more houses built, but yeah, fuck, 981. Then the food crisis hit, so we kind of scaled back a little. We need to keep scaling back. Fuck, this is top priority, isn't it? just happening so slowly with the dynamite. You can be low priority. We probably don't even need this guy anymore. In fact, let's pause it. Because the trees are there, they're growing. They don't just fall over. We're not cutting them. At least I hope we're not cutting them. We're not. Uh, we have pine resin coming out of our ass. Our treated planks took a bit of a nosedive, but I think that's where we had this set as mining for a while. Um, yeah. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Set you guys as highest, shall we? There we go. Now we're doing for water 1.83, 2.75, so if we go down to 2.5 even, that should fill it up and not go over. Yeah. Good. We do need all these pumps running consistently though, so... We are going to be sucking the water out relatively quickly. We have one steel mill working now, just slowly making metal blocks. I don't think we need them for much that we have coming up. Yeah, grab, well, 10 for the gravity batteries. Say we build, what did I work out, about 30. Um, that's 300 steel we need. This will give us 230 plus this. Yeah, that's 300 easily enough. Maybe we should get a second one going. But we do have a beaver problem. We have a population problem even. 
Um, I'm sure nobody in North America says that, but yeah, if we can get this farming up. I've been talking about it for ages, many different episodes, but not actually done it. Yeah, fuck, 960, 970. It's just slowly going down, and soon we're going to hit zero. Food's not so bad, though. It's not like water. If the water goes, you're stuffed. Whereas if the food goes, you can still grow some more as long as you have the right buildings prioritised, such as this one. And you, there you go, water, food. And I suppose we'd need a uh, grill going to... So what I can do now is start storing this up. May come and bite me in the ass if it uh, blows over too quickly. And then maybe when the fresh water comes, put this to the maximum, puts this down to zero, and then the fresh water will start going out here and over here. And then I'll have a tiny bit stored here, not sure how much though. Eleven injured beavers. We do have plenty of medical beds though. Probably got about ten, so I don't know what they're doing. We can build a couple more as well, can't we? Um, I don't think our beavers do much when there's nothing to be built. Or if they don't have dynamite, so these will be built straight away probably. Yeah, 2.2k. Maybe I'll build another barrel as well. Beavers will be straight on that. Are we doing for gears? We're doing fine. It's just the metal blocks. Okay, let's get this guy going. Well, it's not the metal blocks, but I'm thinking. Say we build 30 batteries. We will need these up. We will need 300 metal blocks. So that's 250. No. 230, what's that, it's 290, so we're going to need a bit more metal. Alright, we've got 5.1k science, you guys can change scrap metal for a bit please. <clears throat> so bad water coming over, it is. Hundred percent purity of contamination there. Yeah, I think storage barrels are the way to go. The thing is, when the water's not flowing and the wind's not blowing, we don't actually really use too much bad water. Uh, right, you guys can be detonated. back a bit further as well and you're all high priority oh wow we've got this done our floor is there let's clear the paths that is the paths isn't it no it's not or was it? Come on. Nope. There we go. That's definitely the path. Um. Hmm. All 
Right, we can get rid of you. Get rid of you. And then the dynamite. Level one. And that's low priority. We're fine for water. This build is our priority at the moment. Watch out, beavers. There's going to be a boom boom. Yeah, 700 buck. We were at 900. Uh, let's go down to two. That shouldn't fill it up. Good. That looks like it's getting, getting slower. Yeah, we're down on two now. So it's not much more to trickle out. 2.3 almost here. And depth wise, lovely. Yeah, it's tricky expanding in Timberborn. If you don't do it right, you're going to have a bad time. Um. So this is going to go because it's not really needed at all. But then again, we're going to take this path out for a little while to dynamite down. So maybe it's... No. It can go. And we need the resources. Not really. We need the food, and to get the food, we need the dynamite. To get the dynamite, we need the bad water. And power. We are going to have to have some kind of road going up there, though. Just temporarily, until we finish this dynamite field down here. Alright, come on. And we'll slowly work this path back as well. Give us a little bit extra. <coughs> right, you can actually go. I hope no beavers are over there at the time. Still good on the dam. Seven days left to go. I think our water's slowly increasing. Not a huge amount, but just slowly. So these pumps are working. Um, we've almost got this barrel filled, or we've got it half filled. So we're going to have 3,000 bad water. Which is plenty for our needs. We do need 30 more beavers though. Eight on the way. little further even we're getting there yeah 
Yeah, we destroy up to here for now. And then I don't know how I'll finish that off. Maybe I'll use scaffolding or something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect straight away. So I suppose what we'll do with the bad water, well, I don't think we get through 3,000 before the year. Uh, before the next bad water comes after this. Um, but yeah, once the contamination stops going down, we put these gates up, put these down, and then the water can just flow out here and wherever it wants to go. It won't flow back on us, essentially. And then I don't know how much that's actually going to store. It will store a bit, I suppose, but not a huge amount. Come on, beavers. We're almost there. Fuck, 600 food. Hmm. Maybe I should scrap doing this and then just get at least working full pelt. Then not. I think it's also a little to do with our haulers. We don't have haulers taking potatoes to the grills. So the grills aren't working. Um, hmm. You can be lowest priority. I think it's more important that we have some haulers going. There you go. One there and none there. Beautiful. Close. We are close. Preempting what's going to happen here. Three days, and I think we'll have that done. Yeah, so when it comes between cycles now, there's a lot of fiddling around we have to do everywhere. So we need to move that gate down, that gate down, once it's clear and not contaminated. And then have to fiddle with the gates up here and then this gate here to try and keep in the bad water. Yeah. 
Still bad water's fallen out. Let's pause these two guys. They're not necessary. And we can pause another one of these. And then they can go and do something else. I think that's going to keep our bad water topped up for a while. Almost there. What's that about twenty five, thirty dynamite? So, are you at full power? You are. Probably making two to three a day, I suppose. One. Go and have some water, eat some food. Come on, Dorkaraz, get back in the factory. It's fucking... It's fucked off again. Right. Two... And his off again. All oh, right, he's collecting bad water. Yeah, no haulers, so they're not filling it up. Three. So without haulers, he's doing three a day. With haulers, probably four a day, I suppose. That's about right. Eight have been done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, exactly. Right, let's start planning this out as well. Um, it's going to be a dynamite we want to put down. I think it's 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we kind of want to be in the middle-ish there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just going to put that there, but that goes. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Okay, anywhere here really. It's not going to be a larger space. Still saying that, what I can do once I start digging mud, I can build it up a bit and increase the area. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So anywhere along these trees, let's go here. And we will need roads leading here. Um, so we kind of want to go there. Oh, bad tide ended. This means we have to do things, doesn't it? So this goes down. You can go down. How much have we got left? 1.23. Don't really need to go down that much. Let's just go down for one for now. Um, and we want to keep an eye on the contamination levels here. As soon as that starts going down, we need to fiddle with our gates. Now I think we've got a day or two until that actually happens, though. Still then again, we kind of want the fresh water coming through so we can get the farming and we don't all starve to death. Yeah, and we're ready for our farming too. Um, come on. Yeah, we got 700. Where are we at? That looks like it's clean water on its way. Uh, we 
could actually be changing our lock up here as well. Let's pause this. This is going to be clean, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so you're up. You're down. You're up. Um, where are we at here? 2.25. Might as well go all the way to the top. Or as close to the top as we can go without it overflowing. There you go. That's that side sorted. And here... Still 100%. 99, okay. This down. We don't even need to move this down any further. Yeah, it should stop almost instantly. Yeah, the water doesn't hold here. I think when there's a step level, it just all goes down. But we have a bit of bad tide for a bit longer, so that's kind of good. Um, what else are we doing? We were sorting out our farms. We're going to sort this out. So this is a two. And then we need a couple of threes, I believe. Or, yeah. And you can go. You can go. And let's get these paths connected. There we go. Oh wow, that's quick. And then we need a water dump or fluid dump. Perfect. And then after that is farms. I'm excited now. We probably want to store an excess of potatoes too. Because we're going to be using potatoes for biofuel. When we have the bots come to assist us. Um, let's pause. No, we don't need to pause. They can be unpaused. We have the water flowing. Right, let's see how this greenery goes. There we go. I should have done it level two. Um, but we're going up to there. So let's just check that is 15. One, two. So one, two, three, four. Can we actually put one down there? We can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. So this one over here is going to be good. Uh, let's just run this road over then. Get these trees out of the way and then we'll path here as well. In fact, let's build our farmhouses. Look at that. Loads of builders, nothing to do. Uh, right. Detonate and we're going to go down one more too. Detonate. Perfect. We do need to work our way back up here as well. So let's get that done too. Two, and then a one, and then the stairs. And then we're probably going to do two farmhouses, and then have one on the border. I don't know. Right, so, food, farmhouse. That, and then that. And then we're going to need some potatoes. Get planting, motherfuckers. We're just going to put one farmhouse over here for now. It's not exactly a huge strip of land we've uh, until we start putting mud down or uh, terrain blocks. Yeah, it's only a bit of extra land we've got there. And this guy can help over there. Um, 
So we can now start unpausing the about 540 food. We can now start unpausing there. What have we got coming? We've got a bad tide coming. Um Yeah, we're now connected back to here. So we are gonna be laying dynamite. Water staying stable at 7,300. There we go. There we go. There's a bit of land intersecting, which... Oh, no. Yeah, there is. There's a bit of land intersecting, which we can't grow on. So maybe 14. And then we get maximum effect. This will do for now. Uh, right, I didn't actually select plant crops, did I? Every scrap of land possible. Um, we can probably build more beavers now. And we may even need another one of these. It's a 2x2 two two, so we can stick it this side. Just probably don't need it, but yeah, just in case we're going to build it. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Right, we need to go up a level for housing. Um, yeah, I think food was the only thing holding us back there. We'll connect you a bit later. Yeah, everything gets built so quickly now. Right, keep an eye on the bad tide. 1.2 days coming. Yeah, we're close to topped out on our bad water as well. And then, after all this is blown up, our dynamite should start going up on its own volition. Um, we won't need to worry about it so much anymore. No recipe selected. Okay, we want grilled potatoes, please. Unconnected buildings. Yeah, we know about that. Right, let's sort this out. Let's go all the way to the top so this can fill up. And then at point one, we need to start changing gates around. We're filling up. We're close to full up. So this is half a day it's taken to go all the way to the top. Just under half a day. There we go. And there you go, we got a bit of floodage going on. Hopefully it fucks off. I don't want it to kill the crops. It will. It will. And the bad tide started here. So fuck, we might as well take these gates down. Um Just to have the power going. It will affect the purity of our bad tide for a while, but meh, not so bothered there. Oh. Twenty-three days of bad tide. We can survive this. Uh, right, you could have actually gone down a while ago. 
So it was twos then threes, I believe, here. And where this is raised slightly and further away from the riverbed, it shouldn't get polluted by bad tide. Twenty-three beavers down. Uh, right, how are we going to get this staircase over here? Here, I suppose. If we do a three, is it? Does that take us up a level? does and then we need a two to get to that point and then another two there no we want a three as well three and then these are all ones aren't they and this will be a three and a one, I think. Oh, wow, we can build over medical beds. That's good. Three and a one. Stick some stairs in. And some paths. And there you go. Still don't have enough beavers, but we're getting better. And the bad tide is flowing. I don't think raising this actually makes any difference whatsoever storage wise. I suppose it stacks up the bad tide a bit and it will keep it going for longer. But yeah, as soon as the good water starts flowing, not going to make a difference. Because here it just dissipates, it all goes down here and then straight out. These two ridges are the only place we're holding it. Is it ridge? Uh, one ridge even. So unless we dynamite all this, which seems a bit excessive to me at the moment, we're not going to have anything good happen. Right, you can go down. Let the bad tide flow in there when it comes. Um, now we got a dick about with this one at a time. Don't have to, we choose to. Um, my beavers are woefully underemployed, though. So, is water coming out? It is. Let's start working on our batteries. So if we start from here. First we'll build it, then we'll deal with the problems afterwards. Um, is there a layer there? Not really. So kind of want to be down one. We're only going to do two lots because it's a big fucking distance. Right, let's see how high we can go. The higher the gravity battery, the more power you store. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to build a gravity battery there. Let's delete that. I think if we go level... Actually, I don't know. Let's try level two. Probably won't be able to do that either. Nope. So let's go level one. Come back. And can we do that? Yes, we can. And it's important the way we have the battery facing. But let's have it behind us. 
like that. So we need to dynamite all along there, as long as we can get there, which we can, or along here. Like, let's build paths to that effect, just to make sure. Yep, this is good. Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's six, seven, eight. That's nine batteries. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's more than enough, isn't it? All right, let's get you all leveled out. And then we have to work a way of getting scaffolding up and all along the middle. Big fucking construction. We're also actually going to need windmills to fucking power this as well. It's pointless having gravi gravity batteries if they never get filled. So we need to sort that out too. But if we're going to reach a thousand beavers, this is necessary. Right, we're level one up here. So beavers can build two up. So I could probably get away with coming to this level here. But I am going to want to get the power down. So I want to be equal level, just one before for the power purposes. Right, should we stick the batteries in as well? Look at that. So, let's work on getting up there. So, nope, that's wrong. Well, it won't be later on. One, two, three, four, five. And a one. Yep, good. So this will start off as our stairs, but eventually it will be for the power connectors too. So we delete the stairs off once the whole thing's built. This is next to it, it is. And then what will happen is... We need a two here, yep, correct. And a one here. Yeah, so we can... Let's actually put it in now. So we can put power shafts. And then that will connect there, and then it will start going down. Um, So now we need the stairs. Alright, we're going to go out this way a bit and then come down this way. Aim for about here. But we'll see. And this week on Mega Structures. Right, three, that's one lower, isn't it? Yes, it is. This will be one lower as well, and the next one will be one lower too. <laughs> yep, one lower. Oh, this may be two lower. Yeah, it is two lower. So we need to put a one -er. Yep, and that's stair safe or stair ready. Let's just check. Good. 
next? Hmm. Yep, and then a three, three, two. We at the two level, we are. And then a three, three, one. And then a three, three, three. If we want to go down there, we need to start thinking about it. Let's do a 332. And then we need to have the same level to actually turn it. Oh no, we can do one more. 331. And then a 333. Three, three. And then 333. Three, three. There you go. And that's where we're going to turn the power. 332. Fucking hell. Three, three, one. Three and a one. Let's actually check the stairs because we fuck up on this. It's a bitch to fix. Yep. Good. It works. Let's make sure we put the road there as well. And then we just need a three, a two, and a one. And then... Let's connect it. And that can be built. And then we need to stick in our other batteries over here as well. And we have them facing inwards, I suppose. Facing the same way. Uh, right, how are we doing here? 1.37, 2.2, let's go down to 2 even. That should take you up. This is filled up, 100% contamination purity, good. It's flowing over there. There's some yucky clean water over there. We're actually starting to make dynamite now as well. Ah, uh, yeah, we're dicking around here, weren't we? Right, let's build a three. Okay. So some of our fields, unless we're actually high enough, some of our crops won't be... Um... won't be grown. We actually built any more... Oh wow, we've built a lot of dynamite here. We've got 13 days left to go, I know, so we are taking our water down. The thing is, the water still stays in here and we can go down to zero, so we're not actually losing water. We're just bringing this level down a bit, that's all. It works. Move yourself, beaver. There you go, it's getting built. And we do have a lot of beaver bit uh, beaver builders. Um, right, let's build this path all the way along. I hope we have lots of planks. 900. We're at level 1 here now. We are, aren't we? Okay, let's do level 1. And this is going to be down a level, so we need 2 at the top. Mm. 
And this alone is just the uh, scaffolding to get it built. So we will need a path. That let's actually finish this. Um, so we're just going to need one at the top. Now I think what I'm going to do... There you go, that can be built. What I'm going to do is maybe have power going down this way too. Um, don't know why, I don't know if it's needed, but... Yeah, our woodcutter's going to be working non-stop here. How long we got left on the bad water? 12 days. That's more than enough for our beavers to be getting on with, but we have to build a path down here. Because we will need the path to actually build the structures going up, so yeah, we have to do the same with the staircases. Right, let's just have a quick check. 1.8... 1.73, let's go down 1.5, that should fill you up a bit. How are we doing with water? Oh, we're stuck on 7k. Oh, we haven't gone down. Um, 90, 100, ah. 108 beavers, so 20, 40, 60, 81, so we'll be slowly losing water with that. Okay, let's just keep this one open too. Doing fine on the bad water. Be nice to have this dynamiting finally finished, but yeah, it's not that important. Right, let's work on getting down from here, if we actually can. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, one, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, two. It's not fucking easy to see. One, two, three, one, one, two, three. One, two, there you go, now we're cooking with gas. Almost there, it's going to take us here though. So we're going to need to work out our blockage again. And then a two. Eek. And then a three and a one. And then a two. And that's it. Yep, connected. Beautiful. And then our beavers can attack it from both ends. I do actually need to do the other side of gravity batteries too. Um, how are we going to get down here? I think it's just a case of doing this really, isn't it? Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. No, not fuck it. We can do this. And then we do a one there. And will that work? I'm hoping it will. Yes.
Beautiful. That is lovely. <laughs> it's not going to be quick to build though, is it? Yeah, so all this centre scaffolding will disappear. It's not centre yet, but it will be when I put the other batteries in. Because it won't be needed anymore. Oh no, we have some stranded beavers. Sorry, beavers. There's no hope for you, I'm afraid. I'm not going to rescue you. Shouldn't be so fucking stupid to get stuck. Um. Hmm. I think we've been an hour now, so I'm going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will come back when that's actually built. Um. Because it's going to be an hour or so of just sitting here watching it get built. Nothing else is going to get done in the meantime. I'm sure we're going to have a resource shortage halfway through. But yeah, we get there. Anyway, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back again soon with the next episode. Thanks. Bye bye.